everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Thanks again for coming by today. I'm sure it seems like I thrift all the time, but I promise you I only go thrifting once or twice a month, but because I live in a bigger area, now I feel like I'm often coming away with things and, you know, having more stores to shop at makes that a lot more productive, I guess. <laughs> for me. So I have another thrift haul today and I found some beautiful home decor pieces and a few things that I needed. Jumping right in, I found this huge pillow. I didn't measure it. It's very large and it's down, which is great. And it uh, has a zipper right there. So I can take this off and wash it and wash the insert and just make sure it's, you know, fresh and clean for my home. But I thought it had a very nice, simple design that really could be used all season round, but I was specifically looking for ones that I could switch up my darker plaid pillows for more springy tones. And since this is so light and neutral, I thought it would work well. And it's so big, I think it'll be really cozy. Um, and there was only one there. If there had been two, I would have been super super happy but this was $4.99 for this guy and for the size and the fact that I can wash it worth it so the whole reason why I went to the thrift store today was to find shoes for my daughter she has a formal event coming up so she needed some pretty shoes and I found these these are Steve Madden which I know is a really good good brand so these were $14.99 and I'm guessing that's because they're Steve Madden, but for being this size, I feel like they should be cheaper than $14.99 because this is still a, considered like a child size. $9.99, $8.99, like I feel like that would be better. Am I being <laughs> a price stickler? If they work with our dress, it's worth it to me, but that's the whole reason why I went. I just happened to look in the other areas too while I was there. So I also found this really pretty sort of wallet watercolor designed Lily Pulitzer mug. It was $1.99 and it's got the little Lily Pulitzer on the inside. When I saw this, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. I have a ladies Galentine's Day event coming up at my church. We're supposed to bring a gift that's $5 or less that we can exchange with something that's our favorite. And I love tea, so I thought I would fill this with my favorite tea and maybe some chocolate and bring that for my gift exchange gift. This cute little Lily Pulitzer mug. So that was a wonderful find too because this is a nice brand and I think it'll make a really good gift exchange gift. So this is one of my favorite things that I found. So this was $5.99. It has this really nice frame and the mat is really pretty with that green color and the beautiful floral image. It says spring at the bottom. And I think this is a vintage reproduction, but I would have been happy just to find this one, but I actually found a set. So this one is just ever so different. And this one is summer and has a beautiful floral print, the same mat and the same frame. So when I saw them from afar in the thrift store, I thought, oh, those would be perfect to frame some of my vintage sheet music in. But I actually like the image in here so much. I'm not sure that's actually what I'm going to do. So because I really like what's in here, I'm not sure I'll use it for that purpose, but that's certainly an option for these to switch these out to put in my vintage sheet music but I want to try them in a couple spots and see what I think with the florals still in there, especially with it coming on spring. I feel like I kind of want to try them as is. So they were $6 a piece, $12 for a set. I'm super happy with that. So this I actually picked up at my local library and they had a lot of books out for sale for 50 cents a piece. So I picked this and my kids picked a couple of picture books, but this one is called A Friend of Mr. Lincoln. And I thought I'd share this in this haul just to let you guys know. I think a lot of libraries do this come springtime. They go through and kind of do a spring cleaning of their books and then sell the ones that either just weren't being checked out very much or had some sort of like problem, small damage. I grabbed it and I'm excited to add this to my own library for just 50 cents. So check out your library, see if you can um, get some books for keeps for super cheap. Okay, so I wanna show you guys now what I do with that little mug to turn it into a cute gift and share with you some of the things that I have done with the things that I picked up. So let's get to that. <laughs> 
Okay, so I pulled out some of these little Yorks from my chocolate stash. And then I have, this is my favorite tea. Good Earth, sweet and spicy. It is so yummy. And so I had hoped that I could fit the box in there, but that's not gonna work. So I think I'm gonna take the tea bags out and mix in some of the chocolates. And I pulled out some of this leftover um, Christmas stuff that I had. These are papers that I saved from Christmas gifts. And I thought the green in the bottom would maybe work. So I'm gonna give that a try and kind of make it look all cute. So there it is, all ready to go. I just kind of, you know, angled the tea bags and the chocolates around each other. And um, the bottom has the green, you can't really see it super well here, but it has the green tissue paper in the bottom. But that's looking really fun and I hope somebody loves it. All right, there you go. It's all cute and fun and festive. And when whoever gets this opens it, they'll see that the, the wrapping matches the mug. <laughs> So I pulled out a bunch of different pillow options to play with here on this couch, which is in my sitting room. And I thought I would bring in this quilt that I shared with you in a recent haul. And many of you have told me that you think this is Ralph Lauren. And I've looked it up. I can't find it anywhere. And somebody said they thought that maybe it was the one that was for sale at Cracker Barrel. Um, again, I can't find it anywhere online, but um, there's quite a few of you who have said that you have a similar one or the same one and it's certain brands. And so anyway, either way, whatever, whatever brand it is, I'm quite happy with it because it's worth quite more than the $8 I paid for it. And then this was a pillow cover I got for $1.99 or $1.50 or something like that. And then this was one I had made. So I think that's a nice combination. And then these are pillows I got last year at Walmart. And they're floral on one side and yellow striped on the other. And then I have this guy that I just got, this huge one. And I think this one might actually look well on my leather chair. So I'll try that next. I feel like it looks so stately on this chair. Wow, that looks cool. I like that. So um, stay tuned because I, I'm feeling very inspired to start switching up this room into spring decor now that I have all these fun pillows. So stay tuned. That will probably be coming up soon. I'm guessing that's what I'll do this weekend is just spruce up the house for spring and kind of moved stuff that's wintry over there. But yeah, I'm going to play around with my pillows and my decor and stay tuned. I'll update you for sure. Okay. So I hung the two prints right here next to my little entry spot here. I just thought this would give a little bit more presence to this area. This is such a big blank wall and my hope is eventually to put some trim on this wall up to here, like either board and batten or some, oh goodness, it's escaping me what it's called, but <laughs> some sort of trim work here that draws the eye to there. But for now, I thought this would just give this area some more presence. My sitting area is right here, so you look to the right and you see some pretty art. And I definitely need to adjust them to make them a little bit more level, but I'm happy with where they are in this space. And they're so pretty. I don't know if I can switch them out, <laughs> switch out the artwork. There's definitely a glare, so you can probably see me. Hi guys. but. Anyway, I'm so happy with that. What a great deal to find those today. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing another haul and some of the things that I did with the pieces that I found. Please subscribe if you're new here. I'd love to have you here at the Sweet and Simple Home. I love making my home beautiful little by little, and I do it all on a really tight budget. So if you like that sort of thing, I hope you will subscribe and stick around for more. All right, guys, take care, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.